Hi Handsome and welcome to my 15th video. In this video, we are going to talk about infinite potions and where to find them. If you are a newer player, you have no doubt been told to focus on your infinite HP and MP potions. But while people might tell you to go and get them, very rarely will you get told how to get them. Do you buy them? Do you grind for them? If you do grind for them, do you go to their OG spots? Or is it better to get them through a Tannis? So many questions and very few and often very conflicting answers. Well, don't worry, because I'm here to help you answer this question once and for all. We'll be using Garmov.com data once again, like we did in the last video, to figure this out. Infinite potions are each made from three pieces that you get at their specific spot. Here are the spots and how long you are expected to spend there for their piece, as well as the silver per hour you are expected to be making for the time invested. I took the value of the potion out since you aren't selling it, but you can actually see both the raw data and my data. There are two spots we need to talk about. First one is Navarn Step. This is kind of fishy. I wasn't able to find any Garmov data nor any other data because this spot is a gathering spot. At least you gather for the PDs. So I did an hour of step myself and these are my stats kind of tweaked. I did 17 PTs in that hour, I think that's above average, so I put the average at 30, but that's about it. I also decided to split uh, Shreks into night and day. Garmov also does this, in case you don't know, this is the spot where during the night it's a normal grind spot, but during the night the mobs disappear and then you have these statues that you give 10 energy to and it spawns a big monster that has better loot and be better chances of dropping pities. So that's why I split them. They are not quite the same. You will most likely do both anyway. Okay, those were the OG potion spots. Now we have Atani spots. I always thought that Atani's were a little bit better than they are shown here on the table. You are giving up the chance to get the full piece for what is likely one or maybe two more pities per hour and not even that much better money in most cases. It's alright if you want some variety in your grind, but otherwise the Atani spots, in my opinion, leave a lot to be desired. Finally, we have something for the crowd that goes, just go grind orcs for X, Y, Z hours and buy the potions, don't waste your time grinding them. So this one is for you. Since infinite potions are generally something you do early on in your video grinding career, I decided to look at the top 5 spots at around the 250 to 260 AP mark. I chose the more popular spots since they are usually the ones people tell to Valatimis to go to. I was a bit hesitant to include orbs since it is a bit of a later spot, so a newer player might not be able to reach the AP cap, hence they will do lesser numbers than I have here, but I heard the go to orcs instead and buy the potion so many times that I just had to do this because otherwise they might be in the comments right now. You might notice that the money per hour is lower than it is at Garmov, and that's because the LVA cup pieces don't really have a value until you have the finished item either, which you will need to grind a different spot for, making the money zero or 100,000 if you really want to be pedantic. Okay, so if we look just at the hours invested, it's obvious that buying them will be the fastest. However, I don't think that this paints the whole picture. We must also consider if the infinite potion actually open a new grind spot for the player. Most likely, they don't. So imagine you just spend the 40 to 50 hours at orcs, you got the infinite potions for a combined price of like 30 billion and now you're going back to grind orcs for your next upgrade because it's the best grind spot for you at that gear score. So here's the money you are expected to make while grinding the potion so you have the full context. I also timed how long it would take you if you got one and or two full drops since you will most likely get at least one. I put these full drops at 20 pts each. There is no real way to know how many you will have since you can get the full piece at any point but this felt the most fair to me. You can definitely change it though. I will provide everything in the description like I did in my last video. Deal. I also did 1, 3 and 600 PTs in an Atanis spot. You are most likely not doing the entire potion with just a Atanis, but might as well show it for comparison. Finally, I took the silver you'd get by grinding for the potion and added it to the value of the potion itself. Then I took those numbers to see how long you'd have to grind in one of the money spots to make that amount of money there. And yeah, it's basically the same as if you grinded the potion yourself. Now, there is one more option and that is grinding one potion and buying the other with the money gotten from the potion spots. So, 
here is how that would look like and here is also the Atanis at 300 PDs. The negative numbers mean you'd need to get that money somewhere else. Alright, so this is the data out of the way. You can make your own conclusion, but in case you just want to be told what to do, here is how I did my own potion and how I would do it again if I decided to grind the infinite potions again. Assuming you start with nothing and you want to get both potions, you start doing your weekly at Ronaros, so this is two fairy forest. Then you don't touch the forest once you are done with it until next week. You do blood wolves as your regular rotation until night falls. When night falls, you go do do the Shrek statues and you repeat this forever until you get the full pieces. If your full piece is Ronaros, your weekly that you were doing at Ronaros it becomes Mansha Forest. If you get the full piece at Blood Wolves, you replace Blood Wolf with Chira Ruins and if or when you get your Shrek a full piece, you start spending your energy at Navarne step. You can reverse this process if you want to do mana potions first. I would not generally recommend doing the Atanis spots, since you can't get the full piece that way. I would also advise against grinding for the potion, since not only do you have to buy the entire potion, so it's not like you can just buy one of the pieces or even pities and grind the rest, but also grinding orcs for 100 hours straight is something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy, okay? In case you are better at just visualizing things, here are the graphs of time spent as well as money gained by doing the various approaches if you don't like just watching numbers. And once again, reminder that I am putting this into the description so you can look at it and change it if you want to. Alright handsome, that is it for today. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Next video is probably going to be improving life skills, the final part to the mini series that I did. I am also thinking about starting streaming, so if you are interested in that, do let me know. I will post an update on when my debut is most likely going to be, if it is going to be. My PC is old, so the footage can be a bit choppy as you might have noticed in my videos where I include gameplay footage. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say for today. Remember to like and subscribe and enjoy your grind!